The hardest part about getting reviews for your dog training business is getting started. Once you get into the rhythm, it becomes really easy to grow and scale your client base. In today's video, I'll be answering the question of how to use reviews to grow your dog training business and why it's my number one marketing tip for new dog trainers getting started. My name is Michael Aceta. I go out and I find marketing tactics. I test them in my own dog training business, and then I make these videos so that you can run a profitable business as well without making all the mistakes that I did. The hardest part about getting reviews is getting started. Again, once you get into that rhythm, it becomes really easy. But why do you even need reviews in your business in the first place? The more reviews you get, the more confident your potential clients will come and see your services and go, yep, that's totally something I want to do. With the testimonials you get, you're then going to share them with as many people as possible. You're going to put them on your landing pages, your emails, your social media. Many people will only work with trainers that have proven results, right? They're not just going to go, yeah, here's a couple thousand dollars, train my dog, if you don't have any proven results. And the easiest way to do that without having to train their dog and get some type of result very quickly is with a review and a referral. You can just show them that. They'll have the proof of concept. They'll go, yep, it looks like you have a lot of proven track record success. Let me go with you. So the more people you get into your business, the more reviews you can get, the more people you can get into your business. And it's this nice little snowball cycle. So here's what I did and here's what you're going to do. Get a few clients to begin with. Test out your, your training and your knowledge and experience, your programs. Blow them away with your training knowledge, your support, and the results that you eventually get for them. Once you have gotten their dream result, simply ask them for a ret uh, referral, like a testimonial. Now, when I started, I felt awkward. I, I felt weird. I was stumbling over my words, even though I'm normally a very confident person. I realized that if I had the script to follow in my head, and I, I just knew what I was going to say, I could get better at asking. And so here are some of my favorite scripts that you can use. Feel free to change them and make them fit your services and your personality. The first one, I want you center stage. Your dog's success is a testament to the effectiveness of the training we've done together. I'm collecting success stories to showcase on our platform, and I would love to include yours. Could you share your experience in a review and be a part of our story success collection? Absolutely fantastic. You're inviting them into your circle. They feel like they're being put on a pedestal because of their success, and I want to put them center stage. Testimonial request with a little personal touch. This is where you're going to have to you know, know a lot about them in a way. All right. So <clears throat> testimonial request with a personal touch. I've witnessed the positive transformation with your dog. Tell them about the positive transformation with their dog. And I'm so glad to have been a part of it. If you could share your thoughts in a testimonial, it would mean a lot. Your story can inspire others. Now, the next step is a little bit like you take that testimonial request and you add a piece to it. Share your struggle to success story. Your dog's success story is truly inspiring. I believe it can motivate others to join the program and transform their lives as well. Would you, can share, would you consider sharing your experience in a review to help get pet owners who might be seeking effective training? Community support. Your positive experience can make a difference in our community. If you're pleased with the results, would you mind leaving a review? It can help others in our community make informed decisions about dog training. Exclusive testimonial report. This really ties into the fact that a lot of people want to be considered uh, exclusive. They want to be special. And so what you're going to do is really feed into that concept because people are in it for themselves most of the time. As a token of our appreciation, I'm reaching out to clients for exclusive testimonials. Your experience has been exceptional, and your testimonial would be a valuable addition. Would you consider sharing your thoughts? Now, here's my secret tips. Make it more about them than it is about you. Yes, testimonials and reviews are going to help boost your business, but it's not about you. It's about them sharing their story, their story, their success. They're helping with your mission. It's all about them. Second, always ask ask and then ask again. I did not ask early enough in my business and I missed out on a lot of referrals. The more you ask, the more you get. If you don't ask, you don't get anything. If you do ask, eventually you will get something. Don't wait for them to do it. Make it happen. Again, this was a big mistake I made in the beginning. Hey, could you give me a referral? Could you give me a review? Yeah, absolutely. I'll get to it when I get home. Never happened, right? So less than 2% of people actually leave reviews. They might think about doing it, 
They might have good intentions behind doing it, but with everything else going on, they completely forget to do it, and then you're out of review. you got to reach back out to them. The same thing happens. It's a vicious cycle. So once you bring it up, once they say, oh, my God, yeah, I'd love to leave a review, get them to do it right then and there. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked what you saw today and you want to make sure that you never miss another episode, hit the subscribe button, turn on notification bells, and I'll see you in the next one.